how do we, as people, separate ourselves emotionally from our characters? Well, it comes from a concept called framing. And if you haven't yet watched The Magic Circle, you should go back to that right now, because we're going to be building on that. The concept of the frame comes from British psychologist Michael J. Apter, and he suggested this is a protective frame that shields us from reality. An example of this in your regular life is a fire within your house. Now if that fire is in your kitchen, that's going to cause a fear reaction. If it's in your fireplace, it's not a problem at all. And that is for several reasons. Obviously there's no real risk in that. We have put a literal frame around it. But also we have put a figurative frame around it by knowing in our minds that that is a safe place. There have been some real world experiments done with this. And the first we're going to cover is Zimbardo's infamous Stanford Prison Experiment, where subjects were separated into two groups, being guards or prisoners, and placed in a prison-like environment. The guards became abusive, the prisoners acted entirely immersed within their role, and it was a absolutely brutal experiment that should not be repeated. However, we can learn from it. In fact, it is a fantastic example of a weak frame. The prisoners especially did not feel protected and did not emotionally remove themselves from their characters. Compare this with the BBC Prison Study, which was released as a four-part series in 2002 on television. It was noticed in this example that the guards were not immersed. The prisoners acted more as a group as they were pushed, and a break had occurred on the sixth day of the experiment. This is a good example of a strong frame, particularly because the participants acted as though they were playing a game, as opposed to being immersed within their roles. So what does this mean for your game? Well, it depends on what you and your players want from the game. A weak circle would allow elements of the player to bleed into their character. A weak frame would allow the experience at the table to bleed back into the player. In researching this, it occurred to me that long-term play may weaken the frame, because the players will now have an emotional investment in the character. Now the play that happens at your gaming table will probably never approach the Stanford Prison Experiment, and that's probably for the best. But how would you facilitate some type of bleed-in during play? Well, we will cover bleed in a later episode.